Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. So, as promised, I've been saying all week that I am going to do a Saturday video for you showing how I set up my extreme planning and my April monthly using the new Square Kiss This Planner from Pink Punch Studio collaborated with Lenny Digitals. However, Jenna from Lenny Digitals went and released some new WTF, What the Flip planners yesterday and some more this morning and they're amazing. And so now I've got to figure out how to incorporate those into my plans for May. So basically I'm back to having no clue what I'm doing and um, yeah, since I promised a video, here it is and you can follow along while I figure it out. First, no, I know I did this just on Thursday, but let's talk again about the new Kiss This Planner. So it is just like the other Kiss Planners from Pink Punch Studio, except it is square. And the reason behind the collab is Jenna started using square planners at the beginning of the year. And a few of us were like, Jenna, Jenna, we need, oh, rewind, back that up. Jenna started doing square extreme planning planners and square background sticker book pages on her kits. So anyway, fast forward again. We were chatting and we were like, wouldn't it be amazing if we had square like Jenna's planners and kiss like Rose planners and they merged together. And a little while later, this collab was born. So the collab is the square kiss from Pink Punch Studio. There's accessories for it from Lenny Digitals. And then there's widgets from Pink Punch Studio, but in Lenny Digitals colors. Mind blown. Best thing ever. Watch Thursday's video. I blabbered about it a whole bunch. So you have your basic Kiss This Planner, or basic Kiss Planner, but square. And it has your links on the first page. And then all the rest of the pages just have the two links in the top left and right corners. Love it. This is like my new favorite thing. Um, I love the square planners. I love the linking. So good chance this is just what I'm going to use for the rest of the year. And I really hope we get like for 2022, a full year planner in square. So I'm going to close that. Now, oh, I don't know why that's open. I've already started my extreme planning for May. I've decorated my cover. Um, using, here, let me just go into my Lenny Digitals folder. Now, I've reorganized this whole thing, and I'm still not used to it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to have some more changes, but you're going to have to bear with me while I hunt around for things, because I'm not totally sure where they all are. So, from Jenna, we got the Kiss This collab kind of pieces to build your planner. There's the um, templates, there's covers, there's days of the week, it's amazing, there's these little backgrounds, swag, love it, love it all. So I took the plaid cover already, and I put it, which one are we looking at? I put it on the front of my extreme planning cover, and then I just decorated it. I used the May sticker from the Kiss This kit, and the badge, the rest is just little bits and pieces from all over, from from Lenny Digitals, but from, I think this was a sampler last year, one of the chunk pencils, that kind of thing. So I loved last month's color challenge. It was so much fun. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. So I took a random color generator. I just googled it and the first thing that came up and I generated some colors and didn't love any of them like all of it was just meh so then I searched 30 day color palette and I found one it had black and white in it so I took the black and white out and I replaced them with the gray and the teal and then I mixed up the order and this is my palette so um and just to clarify this is like the darkest reddest brown it is not black. It took the black out. Um, so this is my palette for the month. I'm going to just do like a single color prompt. Um, I built this little calendar in 
keynote following one of the YouTube tutorials that Jenna posted on her YouTube channel. So I will link that and everything else in the description. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. Um, she uses Keynote on her Mac. I don't have a Mac. I used it on my iPad, so it was really different from what she showed, but I got the basic idea and then I just randomly poked things till I figured it out and I made a cute little calendar. So this is pretty basic. Um, I actually you can put the image tool on. You can see the calendar is just like one giant sticker. Undo. What do we have in there? One do. Okay. And then the dates are just from the Kiss This. They're just these dates here. So um, that's how I made up my page. Now, just like the Kiss Planner, or because it still is a Kiss Planner, my links are in the top corner, so they still work and they take you to where you need to be. However, because this is just a daily planner, I went through and I deleted all the extra pages. Normally on the Kiss This, these ones, these links take you somewhere, but I deleted the pages, which broke the link. Same thing for these ones. I've deleted the pages, which has broken the link. Because all I want this for is just the daily pages, and I didn't want to have all those extras. So that like if I just scroll through to the next one, it's Sunday, I'm going to do, or it's Monday, I open up, it's on Sunday's page, I scroll to the next page and I make my spread. Now it's on the weekly page and not the Monday page, and, and then I get all confused. So I didn't want to bother with that, so I just deleted all the extra pages. Now the Extreme Planner that was gifted to us from Jenna is this purple cover. Um, and it's just uh, the, do I even have the Extreme Planner anymore? So this is the cover, see these, pretend those aren't there. So this is what the planner that Jenna gave us for extreme planning looked like. And it's got all your links to all your pages and then you have all your daily pages. It's really pretty. I took one of these pages and the cover page into Procreate and I made a cover sticker, which I ended up not using, and the open planner sticker. So what my plan was for each day is to use the open cover for extreme planning. And that's sort of the thing that will tie the pages together instead of using the, the extreme planning um, file as it's given to us, I'm just gonna use this image from it, which I just cleaned off the background. Then I took this little calendar from Pink Punch Studio and the tablet from Pink Punch Studio. And my plan is for each day, I'm gonna put a snip of what the weather is and I'm going to include a photograph of my desk calendar that's Mittens, who's super adorable. Here, so today's theme is the pink one. So I've already taken a picture of Mittens. I did it real quick right before I started filming this video. Let's just crop all this extra off. So this is Mittens. He's pretty cute. And my plan is to take a photo every day of my desk calendar and put it in here. So I have my little desk calendar. And I took this um, calendar image and I erased everything around these two little metal fasteners. That's right, they're individual. Um, so that I can paste them on top and it looks like Mittens is actually clipped into my little desk calendar. So that's my plan for extreme planning this month. I'm gonna do Mittens, weather, a picture of the day. I'm going to include the sticker from the Scattered Planner Facebook group. She did this last month as well, so there's like a little affirmation. And then I'm gonna decorate it to match my, my color. If anybody's interested in, in following along, let me know and I'm happy to share my little calendar sticker or the palette that I downloaded with you. Let me know and I can, I'm happy to share that with you and you can 
have color prompts too. Um, I love the color prompts. Two is a little hard, but I think a single color prompt will be kind of fun. Last month, having the dual color prompts, it really encouraged me to dig through my stash of stickers and find kits that I bought ages ago and I haven't used yet or haven't used in ages. And um, I really, really enjoyed that. So that is my plans for extreme planning. I really want to throw that the WTF planner into it, but I feel like this is already set. So maybe I will use the WTF for my uh, monthly plan. So let's go to my monthly. So again, I've taken the uh, Kiss Planner, the Square Kiss Planner, and you can, we have covers. So I'm going to just do long press, edit, share, and I'm going to save the image. So now that cover, you can see it popped up here. It's in my images. That's not what I wanted. Where are we? Okay. So I've already put this cover on. If I wanted to add a cover, I'm going to press the little plus there, and I'm going to say image. Oops, hang on a sec. You can choose if you want to insert it as the last page, before the current page, or after the current page. Um, so I'm going to leave it at after, and then do image, and I'm going to select the cover. So now, I've got two covers. I'm going to delete this one with Davy. So now, if we go back to my documents, here's the cover for my May, my May planner. This will be my monthly, where I do all my monthly, daily, and weekly spreads. Um, I, so I still have to decorate my monthly. Yesterday, um, I threw together a weekly for this week, even though the week was almost over, because I wanted to play with the new What the Flip planners from Jenna, from Lenny Digitals. So I I made this spread. Um, the background, can I grab it, is one of these... It's one of the sheets in here. So it's this gray one. You can see they have like a really pretty texture to them. Kind of like construction paper. So I used that paper there to as the background and I put it down at the end after I was done building the spread. Um, the other thing I did is this is one of the templates that's in this planner. So I took this template, it's got eight boxes, there's only seven in the week, so I did, I added the, the word May here. And this green is also from that sheet with the backgrounds, as are my date covers. What I did is I took, can I grab, nope, oh that's right, I've got something on top here. So this is one of the little clear plastic pockets from the, the planner. So you can see this little box I just made by cropping down one of those background pages. I'll just show you what I did. So these pages, they have kind of a little bit, if we zoom way in, you can see there's a tiny bit of shadow and a little bit of an edge on them. So when I cropped it, I cropped it down and I left this edge with that shadow so that when I pasted it onto my spread, it kept that effect. Let's just undo. So you can see it still has that kind of shadow effect on it. I can't zoom in any further. So I made the little boxes for my date, put the days of the week in. Um, this box here, I just shrunk it down. I didn't crop it. I just used the handles and I resized it till it fit. And I made this cute little spread. Let's undo again. Maybe. There we go. And that just put the little clear plastic thing back where it belongs. So this is a, the closed cover from the what the flip planner kit. And then here's the a, a completed one. 
So there's this is like a little pocket with a little zipper on it. So it looks like it's holding my pens inside the pocket. And then this is like the just your leather pocket that stuff slips under. So when I built this, you can see this is where layers really matter. So I did this, I put these down first and then the pocket and then everything on top. Undo, undo, undo. And then the zippers are perfect because you can attach like any little charms that you have. You can build charms with the Pink Punch Studio or M Chung Digital's kits or there's lots of charms in the mystery bags and different things from Lenny Digital's as well. So there's lots of stuff you can do to hang on the little zipper pull as well. So these kits are so much fun. So this is what you get when you get the, the WTF planner. It's all the different individual pieces. I've um, actually, not, this isn't what you get. Let me show you what you get. Okay, here's the a new coral one that was released today. So when you download the file from Etsy or Lenny Digital's website, also always buy from the Lenny Digital's website. Seriously, always buy. Then save your files somewhere, back them up so that you don't have to find them again. But it's a little bit, it's just better. Buy from the Lenny Digital's website, not Etsy. Anywho. This is what you get when you download the file. It's um, eight individual PNGs. So you have your pocket, your front cover, your rings, your planner, your zipper pouch, pencil holder, the big pocket, like the big vinyl pocket, and then the little one. Okay. So I've taken all those into my GoodNotes and I've put them down. So this is just the plain front cover. This is everything already built. This is the front cover. And then this is like each individual piece already assembled where I'd want them to be. So that when I only have to build it one time, basically I can, if I want to make a spread, which let's do that. I'm going to use this gorgeous peachy coral one because I just love it so much. So let's go into my May planner. All right, what have we got here? So one, two, three, four, five. So if I were to do today's daily, we want this page. The reason I do that, you don't just go to the first blank page because the way the links work, these, pa these five pages are, are, are linked to the first five days in the grid. So I wanted to make sure I was on the right calendar. Okay, so here is today's page. So I'm gonna paste down, I'm gonna select my image tool and undo the pen I just did. I'm gonna paste down this cover. Okay, so the idea is you decorate these two bits um, and then first we, we're, we're going to want to put down anything that's going to be in our pocket. So I recently cleaned everything up and I don't really have anything to add to my pocket. My camera roll is pretty sad. Here, we have a picture of Rose in her winter clothes, which kind of matches. So we'll put that there just because it's handy. Um, here, and we'll put my little YouTube image as well, just because it's there. Um, now, this is just a wonderful coincidence. It wasn't planned collaboration or anything, but the new kits from Shadow Cat digitals which I can't remember what they're called summer come on thumbnails look I have too many things they take forever to load I think it's this one yeah so 
Mandy released six kits yesterday. Oh, and by the way, right now, this minute, until tomorrow, everything is like 20% off in the Lenny Digital Shop, the Pink Punch Studio Shop, the Shadow Cat Digital Shop. It's the DPA sale. The code, I don't remember what the code is. Go to the DPA Instagram or Facebook, get the code, buy all the things I did. So anyway, this kit is a pretty good match to that other kit. So I'm going to use it and do some decorating here. Where do I want to be? Here's where I want to be. Okay. Put the feather. What else do we have here? I like this gingham. Oh, but we already have a bunch of plaid. Some gingham with the plaid might be a little much. I'm just trying to line this up with that square. So I want this one to line up too, but I'm going to make it, I'm going to crop the top half so that it's not quite as long, so that the peach one, the coral one, still shows. Okay. I don't know what to do next. I love it all. Today is cloudy, so I'm just going to grab my tracker that has the kind of little bit of sun, little bit of cloud sticker. So these are trackers that I already made myself in Procreate, um, so I just have them ready for when I need to use them. that off for now. I don't know what sticker to use next. Today is Saturday, May 2021. No, that's not right. Saturday, day, May 1st. Yeah, let's start that way. So I've turned off my images and I'm just going to lasso the words. I love this feather, but it's just too distracting from my words. So we're going to grab, I think, just one of these yellow ones. So I turn my image toggle back on. There we go. 
and I'm going to turn my images back off again and I'm going to grab this text, cut it, and paste it back down so now it's the top layer, which is what I need. Okay. I'm going to put my to-do list up here as well. So we'll go back to the text. and spell to do properly. My images are still turned off, so I'm gonna grab that, resize it, and just tuck it under the word Saturday. So I purposely picked a bolder font for my date and a finer font for my to-do list. So today, what do I need to do? I need to film this video. So this is my WTF kiss this video, which I've already done. Yay. Do you guys put stuff on your list just so you can check it off? I do. What else do I need to do today? It's Saturday. I can be lazy, um, but I do, I don't even know what I need to do today. What have I done yet already? The day's like more than half over and I have done like almost nothing. I do need to get some groceries though. When Mike gets home, we will go shopping. Okay. I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. Ooh, it grabbed everything. That's not what I wanted. Okay. So now let's do, let's put the next layer down. So I'm going to grab all of this which I've already lined up. If you haven't you can do each one one piece at a time but I already lined them up ahead of time just to save me a bit of effort. So you can see I have those little vinyl pouches so basically they're um, just like a little pouch that you would slide your papers into. So I'm just kind of lining this up now um, so that each pouch fits each little bit of white paper. As well, the binding is on either side of the silver centerpiece. And even though I previously set it all up carefully, it doesn't always work. So then I'm gonna put my image tool and just do a light tap and I'm just going to quickly adjust anything that I don't really like the way it's sitting. So my photo needs to just shift over. And so does this little image. Maybe we'll just go like that. So this is the little zipper pocket you can see and you just stick it under the binding so it looks like it's in the binder i'm going to take it off for this but i'm not going to use it um and then this is the pocket oops i'm just gonna go back to my files here and resize that pocket. Okay, now I moved these little teacups. I wanna use them, but I wanna put them on top of the little vinyl so it looks like there's a sticker stuck to the, the vinyl part. Now the flip, where the flip part comes in with these 
is you could take each one of these pockets and you could put it on this side instead and stick something in it. You can see it has, like it looks like there's a shine on it. So you can flip the pockets or the that little zipper pouch. You can flip those to either side of your of your journal. For I am going to grab this. Oops. And I'm going to do my wins and gratitude on this little piece of paper. So I'll need a paper clip to kind of hold it in place because that's what that the little leather pocket there. I can just have it like there's a clip holding it on. So let's go find a paper clip. I don't know which one to use. Let's use this little gray bow. All right, so I still need to build the rest of my spread Let's turn my images off so it only grabs my words. Um, but I have all of my main elements that I usually put in a standard spread kind of ready to go for me here. And you can see how I built this cover. And it's so versatile. You could use um, different colors if you wanted. You could put, uh, where is my... You can put stuff from the other colors, like you could do the gray pocket instead of the peachy one if you wanted, the green, like there's a white, the coral, the white and the purple were released today. I haven't put them all in, the white and the purple in here yet, but you can mix and match all the different elements and colors and have a colorful planner. Um, so many options here. And the elements in the Kiss This kit work really well, um, like I did for my weekly, because you can use those little layouts, right? I put the square, um, the eight sections in, but you can use um, any of these if there's something there that you're wanting to track. A lot of these, they'll work. It says weekly, but honestly, you can use, it's a grid. Like, you can crop this half and have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So many options, right? So these these kits all go so well, um, mix and matching and putting things together. Um, it's, it's so much fun. Like, seriously. I don't even know where to start. There's a little pen loop. I'm just going to move it out of my way so you can stick your pin under the loop. There we go. Um, so I still need to decorate all around my planner before this spread is finished, but you can see how much fun it is to, to build like your own little day timer spread within this new kit. It's, it's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, so much fun. I foresee myself doing all of my May regular planning, at least my dailies for sure, using these little 
of fun backgrounds. I try to keep each month to a theme. It doesn't always work. Sometimes I get bored after a little while, but um, I think I think I'll be you'll be seeing a lot of these w WTF planners in in my spreads because how much fun is that? Um, what else can I do? So we've played with the planner. We've played with the kiss this stuff. Jassy's my favorite, and I was so excited to do my weekly spread yesterday so I could sneak the April sticker in before the month was over. Because look how cute he looks sitting on the little letter L there. Love it. Okay. So I will link the main kits that I used. Um, Jenna's website, the coral stuff from Shadow Cat Digitals. I'll link all that in the description so you can find everything that way as well as the calendar. Um, maybe, you know what, I'll put my template in the description also. I'll put a link to my to a Dropbox with that. What am I talking about here? So for extreme planning, this template, it's just a PNG that I made. I'll, ma I'll put a Dropbox link in the description to this video if you want to use my little uh, colors as well. Um, most people I think are sick of color prompts, but I loved it so much. So I'm gonna stick with it. Anyway, I think that's it. I hope I answered some questions about the Kiss This collaboration and the new WTF planner kits from Lenny Digitals. Uh, I had fun building that. I can't wait to see. I've already seen some really fun builds with it. And I can, I'll keep my eye out for more in the groups and on Instagram. I think that's all I got for you. So I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to do a plan with me tomorrow from, I think it's Miora Studios. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, she's one of the shops that are in the DPA sale this weekend. And I bought a bunch of kits from her. So I'm going to do a spread with one of her kits. I haven't decided which one yet. Um, but yeah, I will do a spread with her kits tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye everyone.